This polynomial function has three zeros, three real zeros. And I'm going to find them. I'm going to work this problem in three parts. And the first part, it's asking me to list all of the possible rational zeros. So let's do that first. Part one, list all of the possible rational zeros. Now over here, it tells you that the possible rational zeros are going to be fractions, where your numerator is going to be a factor of the constant term, and your denominator is going to be a factor of the leading coefficient. Okay, so the constant term is this number back here, the one without a variable, is 175. The leading coefficient is going to be this number right here, the 3. So let's list all the factors, and then we're going to make fractions. So let's start with the constant term, 175. All right, I'm going to list all of the factors. So our factors come in pairs, because any number that goes into 175 has to have something that it multiplies. And I start with the number 1. So 1 times 175. Your first one is always 1. Now let's do 175 divided by 2. Nope, that doesn't work. I get a decimal. 175 divided by 3. That doesn't work. I get a decimal. 175 divided by 4. Doesn't work. 175 divided by 5. Okay, two more factors. 5 and 35. 175 divided by 6. No, I get a decimal. 175 divided by 7. 7 works. 7 and 25. And then I keep trying the rest of my numbers. 8 doesn't work. 9 doesn't work. 10 doesn't work. All the way down to 24. 24 doesn't work. And then I'm back to 25. So these are all of my, sir, put it in blue. These are all my factors of 175. All right. It's pretty easy to find all the factors of 3 because they are only 1 and 3. So here's my factors of 3. Now my possible rational zeros it's going to be the positive and negative of all of these fractions. So we'll start with the smallest numbers. Okay, I'm going to use 1 over 1. All right, plus or minus. Now I'm going to use the 5 over 1. Let's use the right color, 5 over 1. Then I'm going to use 7 over 1. And then I'm going to use 25 over 1. And then I'm going to use 35 over 1. And then I'm going to use 175 over 1. Okay, uh, plus or minus, the positive and negatives. All right, so these are working towards my possible rational zeros. Now let's put them over 3. Okay, so the same thing, all these numbers over 3. So plus or minus 1 over 3, plus or minus 5 over 3, plus or minus 7 over 3, plus or minus 25 over 3, plus or minus 35 over 3, and plus or minus 175 over 3. All right, now you reduce any of these numbers that you can. All the ones in this top row are going to reduce because anything over 1 is just itself, so we can write them as integers. Uh, anything down here reduce? I don't think so. Okay, so here are all my possible rational zeros. This is possibly going to be in multiple choice form, and you want to look for this one, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 5, plus or minus 7, plus or minus 25, plus or minus 35, plus or minus 175, and then we'll put all the fractions, plus or minus one third, plus or minus five thirds, plus or minus seven thirds, running out of space, I'll put it down here, plus or minus 25 over three, plus or minus 35 over 3, and plus or minus 
175 over 3. Okay, if I want to find the zeros of this polynomial function, I told you that there's three of them, here are all my possibilities. Okay, it's going to be in here. Alright, so that's a lot of them to try. Alright, part two. Let's look at part two.